In this video, we're going to show how to roll back the firmware on a Mobius enabled device to EcoSmart Live. So in order to do the firmware rollback, you will have to create an account. So first download the Mobius app from your app store, follow the instructions to create an account. One of these will be to provide an email address. You will need to validate that email address in order to get into the app. Once you've done that, you'll be able to log in. Logged in, you will be prompted to create a tank. Now, since we are not gonna be keeping this tank, we're just gonna call it test. And from here, the next part of the wizard will be to pick the equipment that you would normally add. If you already have the equipment in a tank in Mobius, you'll need to remove it from the tank and follow these steps, either through the adding equipment wizard, or if it's your only piece of equipment by removing the tank and creating a new tank will also get you to the screen. So once you're here, we're going to pick the piece of equipment that we want to revert to ESL. So in this case, I'm going to pick this Vectra S2. If you click and hold on it, you'll be presented with options, which you may have seen the first time you configured this device. If you're not new to Mobius, if you are new to Mobius, then these are your options. You can identify doing that will show you which piece of equipment you're using by flashing the driver. You can update it to the current version of the firmware or you can downgrade it. Now downgrading it is what will return it to ESL. So if we just click on that, then it will remove the Mobius firmware and reinstall the EcoSmart Live firmware. This is gonna take some time and you should keep your device open and near your driver so that it will perform this operation and complete it. During this period, you will see the lights, the indicator lights on the quiet drive driver, if this is a Vortec or a Vectra flashing. So the potentiometer knob will change different colors, lights above the mode set and option power button will flicker white. This is indicating that the firmware is being rewritten on the device and that everything is proceeding as it should be. Now, once it's finished, it will give you this notification that everything's complete. At this point, you can close the app and remove it and then go about connecting to this device via EcoSmart Live. Okay, that's it. Hopefully this was helpful and will assist you in getting downgraded back to EcoSmart Live.